Hello everyone, it's Carrie from sunshineinmypocket.com and today I have a very sunshiny project for you. I'm using this sun stencil, which is from the Rainbow Sky Stencil Set from Miss Ink Stamps, and this Scene Builder Cloud Stencil, also from Miss Ink Stamps, and I'm going to create a sunshiny scene with this. And I hope you'll stick around because I'm going to show you a really simple masking technique to add that sun a little bit later. I'm going to start off by inking on those clouds and I'm very simply just taking a blender brush and some Distress Oxide in faded jeans color and I'm just inking on those clouds. I start on the stencil as you might see here and then I ink off the stencil just so slightly to give that cloud impression. Really, really beautiful clouds here. And the reason I love this cloud stencil so much is because not only do you get the clouds, but you also get that swirl detail. You see that in the center there? I'm lining up that swirl detail now with the clouds that I've already inked on, and I'm taking some salvaged patina distress oxide and inking on those swirls. So you can see you kind of get a two-tone effect here with the swirls. You can do these, of course, in any color. I love the blues. I've also done this in rainbow colors. It's so beautiful. And later on, I'm gonna add a little bit of glitter. But for now, I'm gonna ink on the sky using some scattered straw distress oxide dried marigold and also spiced marmalade. And these are beautiful colors together. See how fast they ink on as well. Now I'm going to add that sun. And you can do this with any medium you have. I've got some Nuvo paste here, some glitter gel, some paper glaze, and of course I had to go with the glitter. I usually almost always choose glitter, <laughs> but this is going to just be so beautiful on this sun. So to mask off those clouds, now I'm taking the same cloud stencil that we used before, and I'm just pushing it up just a little bit more over the clouds so that it masks off all of the clouds and plus a little bit. Now I'll glitter the sunburst here. Those sun rays are gonna be so beautiful and glittery and you only need the tiniest bit because these are just so delicate and beautiful. So look at that, it masked off that sun perfectly and I'm going to set that aside to dry. For the sentiment, I have a scrap piece of blue paper and I've inked on some darker blue ink that I used on the clouds, and then I stamped and clear heat embossed that I believe in you sentiment. This is from the Unicorn stamp set, and I'm going to just add a little more ink, and then I'll wipe that ink off the extra embossing, and we have a beautiful sentiment strip just for the center there, and to finish this off, I'm going to add some glitter, of course, to those clouds, to the swirls anyway. And I think this just makes the clouds look silvery, like there's a silver lining. There is all that glitter now complete. I'm gonna let this dry for a little bit, and then I'm just gonna add two sweet little butterflies. I've colored these up nice with some light blue and light yellow colors, so to match the card. And I'm just gonna pop those up with some foam tape, and that's gonna finish this part of the card. Now you could use it just like this and add it to your card base. It's beautiful, but I did decide that I wanted a little bit of a blue frame around the edges. So all I'm gonna do is once this has completely dried, which I did let it sit aside for a couple hours to completely dry, then I trimmed it down and added it to that blue mat. And all I'm gonna do is add some liquid adhesive all around the edges here and a little in the middle. To add that to the blue piece, you can see there's a little some polka dots on that blue piece. I thought it added a little bit of happiness. I love polka dots as well. And we'll just add that and then add it to the card base. Very simply, I think this would make such a beautiful encouragement card for anyone. I believe in you, like there's a new dawn. <laughs> Tomorrow is a new day. There you can see a little bit of that sparkly sun, some glitter on the clouds, and that's our card for today. I hope you got inspired and will try this masking technique to add 
the sun to your cards. I hope I did give you a little bit of a smile today as well. Thanks for stopping by. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. It really does help. And I'll see you real soon with some more card inspiration. Bye-bye.